like I rolled out of bed a grand total of about 50 seconds ago. Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Oh, I've got that like weird morning voice that you wake up with literally as soon as you get out of bed. Oh, good morning Flo. Doesn't quite sound like me, sounds slightly like an elderly man has taken over my vocal box. But you know, ask and you shall receive. I've had a few comments recently asking if I can do some vlogs again, so Ta-da! Here's my very untidy bedroom, complete with a cat on top of the wardrobe. So this morning it looks slightly like I'm dressed for a funeral. Here we go. Um, that would be correct because I'm about to go for a run, which equates to about the same level of joy, I think. I don't know how this has happened. I don't know how this thought has come to be. I don't know why I've decided this is a good idea, but I've started running again. Um, Apparently because I hate myself. <laughs> yeah, it's been a couple of years since I was last moving in any form, really. And I kind of missed it. I didn't miss the actual running, but I missed the like having half an hour a day where my brain doesn't think about anything. And then of course the endorphins that follow where you feel on top of the world. And you forget about the fact that the last half an hour was absolute hell on earth. So I'm really trying to psych myself up to go outside right now, but the park looks quite empty, so that's good news. And the sooner I get back, the sooner I don't have to go on a run again for the next 48 hours. It's just so frustrating though, isn't it? Because I used to run 5k every day and then you let it go and you try and get back into it and you're like, why did I ever let this go? Why did I relinquish every drop of fitness I ever had? I need my water. I need this jazzy little thing that I bought for putting my phone and my keys in. Some form of sweatband available at all times because it's not a pretty sight, let me tell you that. I am going to go and do this. Um, as much as I don't want to and there is literally nothing I want to do less right now but hey if there's ever a zombie apocalypse which at the moment doesn't seem that unlikely really the way things are going in this world doesn't seem all that unlikely um, I'd like to be able to run for more than 20 seconds at a time to stand a chance of survival really um, so this is about survival and I'm gonna go and run and if that's not a powerful cliffhanger to leave this cliff on then I don't know what is so welcome back to another calm, peaceful and mindful daily vlog with me. Zombie apocalypse training. Feeling like the worst Power Ranger in the world right now. Literally the worst one ever. If I increase this brightness more, will you be able to stop seeing how awful I look? Tricks of a YouTuber. I survived. I'm now up in the office. Um, it was bad. <laughs> the last sort of half, maybe actually the last 92% of that run <laughs> um, I wanted to stop <laughs> but I didn't and that's what matters I got through it I did it we'll move on from the fact that everything hurts and I'm dying and also that my hair is very sweaty I swear running isn't actually very good for anybody I showered um, I felt a small feeling of success for conquering my fears around exercise I have this like really I don't know I think I've always had it it's like a very irrational is fear the right word? I don't know, it's like a very irrational, uncomfortable feeling around exercise. A, because school PE lessons are verging on traumatizing most of the time. I come back from any form of exercise looking like a sweaty onion that's just been dug up from the ground. Actually make it a beetroot because, I mean, I'm still red faced right now. And I've kind of just always had this stupid feeling that like exercise spaces are a privilege for people who are already fit. Does that make any sense? I don't know if that even makes any sense. So uncomfortable about the idea of exercising and anybody seeing it. Um, I don't know, probably blame Instagram. Blame Instagram for everything. Deep and meaningful chats aside, um, I'm back at my desk now. I did my emails first thing this morning, which I think I filmed a little bit of. I've got so many deadlines at the moment that frazzled isn't even the word. I'm like past frazzled and have become an actual frazzle. You know frazzle crisps? I am a frazzle. Anyway, it's just coming up to 10 o'clock. I'm having a healing cup of coffee um, to try and put some life back into my soul. So I'm about to start my shift for Marie Claire for the day. 
Um, need to have a little look through the internet and see what the hell is going on. First up, the Daily Mail, where journalism truly comes to die. Then I'm gonna be writing for the next few hours, so I probably won't vlog anymore until that's done because that's a bit boring really, isn't it? Then I need to go into town because I've got a meeting this afternoon and then I'm hoping to see Adam later and hopefully spend some quality time with him that's not just me with my laptop on my lap on the sofa um, while we watch telly while I also continue to do work because that's pretty much been our relationship <laughs> recently. Oh, give me coffee. Well, I set the camera up to do like an RT typing shot, but I've just realised that you can see the fact that I'm currently wearing star leggings and my Gryffindor jumper. Working from home, super professional, always. <laughs> work in these conditions. <laughs> Whenever anyone asks me if I miss working in an office and being surrounded by people, I tell them, <laughs> I tell them yes. I tell them so much. But now I have this, which is not a bad alternative, is it? I just popped down to the post because I was expecting a couple of deliveries today and I've had some really cool things arrive so I thought I'd do a little show and tell a delivery from my mum um i asked her to send some family photos because well it's a bit of a long story really but basically one of the things that i'm doing in therapy at the moment required some old photos of me and i'm just gonna put it out there i was pretty cute i was pretty cute i think this is from my brother's christening i mean that actually kind of makes me want to have a child because that is just i mean that is that is very cute. This one, which is like the most 90s outfit I've ever seen in my life. This little one, oh, that's in my nan's old living room. She was like the loveliest dog ever. What an absolute duo. Uh, no front teeth in this one, always a good look. And then mum also sent a few of her as well, which I'm gonna be using for an upcoming video that I'm really excited about. So a little blast from my past there. I never really share anything too personal on here. So I guess these are, these are kind of like a special thing to share with you guys. Also, obviously, when do I ever not have one of these? I'm going up to the Lake District this weekend with some of my best pals from up on the Wirral who I haven't seen for ages. And we said that we might go swimming randomly enough. I think I bought three different plain red swimsuits. Uh, Baywatch, eat your heart out, hey? Um, so yeah, can't wait to try those on later. Oh God. And then I've also had a little parcel from Ta da Benefit! So the Absolute Babes at Benefit have sent over their new Cheek Leaders palette. Official member of the Pink Squad. Uh, this is what the palette looks like. And then inside... <gasps> Should we do a little swatch? Oh wait, there's plastic. <laughs> Let's do a little swatchy. Please excuse my horrible fingers. I bite them all the time. <gasps> Whoa! I'll show you this too. This is the book I'm reading at the moment. Uh, this is Sally Rooney, Conversations with Friends. I've nearly finished it. I've read it very quickly because I've really, really enjoyed it. I love her style of writing. And I think that is everything other than my knitting, which is my current absolute obsession. I booked myself onto a knitting class recently, went all by myself, went off to learn how to knit, um, and I'm making a blanket. It'll take me like 10,000 years and it's extremely wonky and awful. Um, but I don't know, maybe it'll be a new family heirloom one day. Looking slightly more like an actual functioning human being now. I mean, at least I've got some eyebrows on, that's progress. Hair is looking a little bit like an Afghan hound. I've actually got a meeting in, actually I need to get a bit of a move on. Then I've got to hop skip it over to a different office to go and pick up something. But then Adam's just texted me and asked if I fancy going to the pictures tonight. So I'm really excited. Love a little spontaneous date night, always makes me very happy. And then we're gonna go and see the new Captain Marvel movie with Brie Larson, who I bloody love. And if you've watched my vlogs before, I've definitely mentioned it a couple of times before because it's such a great offer. Um, but I've partnered with Compare the Market, who are the brains behind the whole Meerkat movies deal, which is such an awesome offer. They wanted me to try the Meerkat movies deal and see how we got on, but it's actually something that I use already because it's such an easy way to save a bit of money. And as we always do when we go to the pictures, uh, we're gonna be using that tonight when we go and see Captain Marvel because it actually gets you two for one cinema tickets on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. So I'm going to take you with me now while I go out and about but I'm going to bring you to the cinema later as well. Obviously won't show you the movie because that would land me in prison. So if you're interested in trying out the Meerkat movie
Rubies reward for yourself, two for one cinema tickets. All you have to do is get a qualifying product through comparethemarket.com. And then once you've made the purchase, you'll have the Meerkat Movies reward for a whole year. And as a bonus as well, you also qualify for the Meerkat Meals reward, um, which is also something that we use all the time. Basically, every date night we ever go on relies on this. There's also a really handy little app that you can use. So not only do you get the codes for your rewards, just through the app on your phone but then it'll also tell you where the closest cinema is that like qualifies for the meerkat movies deal and then the matching meerkat meals with that is for two for one meals at participating restaurants from sunday through to thursday so if you do want to find out a little bit more about meerkat movies or meerkat meals for yourself um really can't recommend it enough we end up using it at least once every couple of weeks if not more often um and it's just a great way of saving a little bit of money so i'm gonna pop a link in the description box down below and you can check it out for yourself so i am gonna oh there's my debit card there um i am gonna get ready to head out and about now i need to leave this flat as a matter of urgency i was going to take my laptop but i think for now i'll just take notepad pen i need my phone and obviously it is chucking it down so much that i may need to find an arc to take myself into central london right now see you later flo you wanna come with me you might like captain marvel Mm, that's a no. I mean, it's not looking its best right now, but also how cute is this duvet set? It was an absolute bargain from Georgia Asda. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. Uh, Flo is a particularly big fan. Well, I wanted to show you my outfit because I'm really enjoying this dress at the moment. I think it's really like super easy to wear and cute, but actually nothing in this world has ever needed an iron quite as badly as this does right now. Creases or no creases though, it's still my absolute favourite dress at the moment. Um, it's from ASOS, just like little short sleeves. It's denim, like dark denim. Best thing about it though, we got some pockets. Um, I've also got this little hairband on and then shoes displayed beautifully next to the washing are oh, my Doc Martens. So that's what's happening today. So many of you will tell me this dress is unflattering and horrible, whatever. Uh, you're probably right, but I really like it. And I wanted a warm coat, but I forgot that I literally don't own such a thing. Uh, this is the warmest one I've got. But I've got a few pins on the collar here. I've got my old merch that's not merch. Will there be food pin? Um, I've got a little murderino pin. What do I even need? Headphones, probably. Keys, yeah. Debit card. I picked that up earlier. Where did I put it? I think that's all. Oh, I need some lipstick. I've got a whole face of makeup on other than lipstick and I always think that looks a little bit strange. Ah, that's better. I really love headbands, but the only thing is my hair is so thick already that it just adds more width. <laughs> you would think that in 27 years of existence I would have learned how to wear a hairband properly. Is that too far back on my head? Maybe my ears just don't really cooperate. Maybe my ears are too far back. Well, like everything else in my entire life, I've overthought this into oblivion and I now ruined it for myself and now I feel like it looks really silly. Please join me again for more vlogs where I apply one insignificant fashion accessory and spiral into an existential life crisis. <laughs>
any kind of clothing with chips on, I'm into it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I need to edit this vlog now. So <laughs> thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye. Mwah.